on behalf of the Sons of Italy, we welcome you, Mr. Marciano, champ, pound for pound, I, the I, greatest I, Enough, box. enough. Just call me Rocky. Jeez. <laughs> Rocky. <laughs> and since you've been the inspiration to every Italian-American across this country for longer than most of us can remember. Get on with it, Gino. Let's hear the rock. <laughs> I want to present to you the Sportsman of the Century Award. Come on, sit down. That's terrific. Thank you. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do up here. I mean, I don't sing, I don't dance. But just to be gracious, I'll take on any guy in the house. <laughs> Thank you all. Rocky, I can't tell you how much is meant to us. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, Ed, when you knocked out Walcott back in '53, my dad and every really? Italian in the neighborhood they celebrated for a whole week. Oh, He'd great. love to meet you. Well, we I, I love that I got a previous engagement in Chicago. Where are you going? I'll be right back. I forgot something. so early. Get out of sight. You want to get me fired? <laughs> what happened to my lunch? Hey, Marchigiano, what's your kid doing here again? It ain't lunch yet. <laughs> oh, God, my head! My head! Get it, get it! Get it! Oh, come on! Oh, hurry, hurry, come on, let's get in the hospital. Oh. Get him out of here. Tony, Tony, give me All right, that's it. There ain't nothing more to see. Back to your business. Please, Papa. You're never gonna work here, Rocco. Tell me. Never. Yeah, everything's fine now. I'll be right out. Picture of a mule in your own home? Hey, Joe Lewis is a champion of the world. What have you ever done in your life? I did not go overseas to fight the Germans, so I to come home here and, and live off charity. It's no charity, it's coupons for food. It's from the church. Enough! It's starting, Papa. Uh, you go ahead, Rocco. I, I'm coming right down. Yeah. 
the big fight is going on. We finish this a little later. Hmm? Why you let him listen to that, huh? The boy like boxing. What is the harm? Lo sport più brutto. Oh, and an explosive right to the jaw, hurting Smelling. Lewis is all over the big German here in round one. A barrage of punches in the head, and Smelling starts to crumble against the ropes. A dynamite right, and Smelling goes down. But he's up on the count of two. He staggers up, and a crushing right slams Smelling down for the third time. It doesn't look like Max is going to make it. He can't get up. It's over. It's all over. Yes. Get out, you little hooligans, or I'll call the cops. There you go, Mrs. Trigo. Uh, thank you. Enjoy the day. You too. Next. Come along. Stay with these today, Mr. Murphy, okay? Marky Giano. Can't you read English? Cash customers first. Back of the line. Hey, Papa, what about the food? Where you go? Papa! Come on, Ellen. Let's get to the back. Next. Uh, crooked. Again. come to America on the same boat as your grandpa. Oh, the promises we had ringing in our ears, we couldn't hear nothing else. And instead, we become dagos, wops. <laughs> they say we're lazy. Or worse, the black hand, the mafia. The only thing that matters is what you got inside you, Rocco. Your pride. I was a little boy. I was too small to go fishing with my father. So I hang around the docks. I do all sorts of little jobs for the fishermen. They, and they give me oyster shell. Oysters? Yeah. In Italia, a rich man's court, a real bocce court, is made of the crushed shell of the oyster. That's what makes the ball run straight like it's supposed to. One day, I bring home all the shells I save up. I give them to my father. So to make a bocce court for his own. That's how I learn. Not just the bocce. How to save. A little boy spends, eh? The, the, <laughs> a man. Saves. Man is nothing without cash. I uh, hope you like the black Rocky. Oh, yeah, uh, two officers facing treasure. each other. I, I understand the logic. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's a car waiting to take you right to the airport. That's well. I'm sure, you'll find this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What's what's this? 2000, right? Oh, see, hey, here's Rob, the thing. How you doing? Right yeah. I don't take checks. You got any cash? Not oh, two G's. How much you got? Uh, I don't know about four, five hundred bucks. You put me in an embarrassing situation here. Uh, uh, this is fine. This will do. Thank you. But, but Rocky. Uh, see, this is a piece of paper. This, this is money. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, keep on smiling, keep on smiling. And the world will smile. Yeah. Give me my money! Hey, what the hell's going on? What's going on? 
Dirty mix. It's five bucks for shovel and coal. Seven to four? Yeah. Then he shit cans. It's at 345. Give me fuck. Oh! Something extra for the aggravation. Come on. I ain't no thief, Valley. Yeah? You ain't shoveling coal no more, neither. I can't believe you just cost me another fucking job. What do you want to do? Make shoes, you bum, you? Yeah, a bum with an arm. This cocksuck he just flattened once took Jimmy Braddock 15 rounds, huh? Oh, this guy? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, wait. Hold on a second. Oh, my God, Paisan, take it easy. We're here. Iberia's Hall. What the hell are we doing here? Hey, pal, is this here where you sign up for the boxing tournament? Yeah, sure, fill this out. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Slow down. Slow down my ass. You seen what I did to that bum McNutt? You see this, Allie? This here right hand's what's gonna get me out of Brockton. Only heavyweight slot left is against Henry Lester. Yeah, sure, sign me up. Wait, 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 wait. Henry Lester's the Golden Gloves champion. He's the toughest amateur in Massachusetts. You ain't never boxed for real in your life. Allie, I wanna fight the guy everybody's been ducking. That way, everybody knows who's best right off the bat. Besides, he's an amateur. How good could he be? Jesus H. Christ. Rocco. Rocco. Look at the size of this guy. One shot. champion for three years in a row and runner-up in the New England Amateur Championships, Henry Lister! All right, boys, you know the rules. I want to see a clean one here. The touch glove and go to your corner.
2259. Rock, we gotta get a real job. I've been thinking, Allie, it's time for me to turn pro. Pro? Look at yourself. What are you, nuts? Oh, you shame? You don't belong in the ring with those guys. Those Come guys on. hit like girls. I just don't train enough. I'm out of condition. It says here Joe Lewis, he boxes. Oh, 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 oh. Rounds. you're comparing yourself to Joe I'm Lewis. I'm not comparing. I'm saying if Joe Lewis boxes 30 rounds before a fight, a guy like me's gotta fight what, like 60? And if he runs six miles, I better cover 12. Now, if I train twice as hard as these guys, maybe I got a shot at winning a fight. Hey, we're broke. We need a shot at getting some real jobs, okay? Ali, now you want to stick around here, break your back, then you be my guest. I seen what this place did to my father, and I'm not going to let it happen to me. Now, I got a shot at getting out of here. All right? Now, with my next fight, who Wait, knows? next fight? I'm fighting again in three weeks. You're fighting again? Yeah, as a pro. There's this big shot manager by the name of Al Wild coming up to Rhode Island. He's looking for some new talent. Now, this guy's got three champions, and he's looking for a heavyweight. Oh, then you're in. Look at you. I wrote him a letter. I told him I was undefeated. Undefeated? You lost four times! As an amateur. But professionally, I'm undefeated, technically. Rocco, you don't know how to box. So I'll learn. What are you going to learn? They beat my head in, and I went down once. What do I got to lose, Allie? Allie. Holly, listen to me. There is no way that I'm making shoes. Now, this is our best shot at getting out of here. Now, if we try our hardest, it doesn't work out, that we go get jobs. What do you say? Come on. Allie, come on, what do you say? What's the matter with you? Come on. Hey, what's, 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 what's the break? Okay. Give me one. One, two, three. Count them. Count them when you do it. Count them. One. Can you get one? Come on. One. What's the matter with you? Ninja. What the hell's the matter with you? Come on. No, I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't have bread, Ma. What? You can't have bread? Ma, I'm in training. Uncle Fatsy, I gotta lose bread. this. I never heard of Please. You can't have bread. Ah, tell her. You see, it's very complicated. Run on the spot. Get your knees up. Get your knees up. Get your knees up. Get your knees up. Good. Hey, you see? When you listen to me, you do good. Look at you, you're off balance. What are you doing? Just throw, just hold the thing up. All right, hold, I want to practice the right. Keep your hands up. What did I tell you? Keep your hands up. There, you go. there, there we go. go. There we go. My socks. Hey, my socks. There you go. Good. Good. That looks like... Hey! Hey! hey. Let's say something. So you'll have a tomato then? Uh, I can't have tomato. What do you mean you can't have tomato? Tell me not tomato. I can't have the tomato. How can a tomato hurt you? I got each steak. It's all right, though. Have you so, ever heard of such a thing? A well, tomato hurt? Well, now, you. Tell, you tell me. I told you it's complex. Duck. Okay. Jab, jab, right. Good. Jab, jab, right. Good. I can't swallow the steak. I could just swallow the juice. You can't swallow the steak? I gotta lose weight, Ma. We no. finally get steak in the house. He can't eat it. I know, but it's a little ugly. Ah, what do you want from me? I don't care. What? What is this? Oh, my God. Flight 142 from Houston is now arriving at... Barbara! Hey, where are you? LaGuardia. Rocky, what are you still doing in New York? You were supposed to be home last night. What's going on? Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. I should have called, but they gave me an award. The paisans all wanted to talk to me. Yeah, what else is new, Rocco? Do you realize that you've only been home one night in the last six weeks? I mean, when are you going to stop? Now, I'm done. This is it. There's one more thing. I got this TV uh, appearance in Chicago. Four grand for five minutes, and uh, uh, that's it. I'm done. But we need you here. We got a house full of people coming. Barbara, I have in a million years missed our birthday. Never. Come on home, Rocco. I baked you a cake. Marianne helped. Marianne? Yeah, she had Marianne there. Put her on. Yeah, I'll pick you up at the airport at four. Okay, here's your daughter. Oh, is that Daddy? Mm. Kids, kids, what's going on here? Walker, Where are you, Daddy? Hey, Truffle. Coming home. You help Mommy with the cake? Okay. I did the icing no, writing myself. We're gonna have a great party. Will you dance with me? Well, I dance with you. When have you ever wanted to dance with me?
Hey, Rod, aren't you gonna dance? I'm good, Allie. Don't worry about me. All right, suit yourself. Gianna, watch where you dig in that heel. I know you. Barbara. Barbara Cousins. You were three years ahead of me at St. Bibbs. Imagine me a foot short and no chest. Oh, yeah. He grew. Oh. You're one of those smooth talkers, huh? So you want to dance? You always just forward? When I want something, yeah. What is it that you want? Right now to dance. Dance? You know, music, movement. Dance. Yeah, I heard of it. Uh-huh. Just ain't big on footwork. Come on. I promise I'll let you lead. Well, as long as you know what you're in for. <laughs> Would you look at that? The rock is dancing. So, um, what's with the exercise kick? Exercise kick? What are you talking about? <laughs> Who are you kidding? You look like you sent away to the comics for that Charles Atlas thing. Yeah, you don't seem to mind. You want to get out of here? Where do you want to go? I don't mean now. Not yet, anyway. I mean Brockton. You trying to get out of Brockton? I'll tell you one thing. I ain't making shoes. Yeah, what then? I'm a boxer. Oh, well, that's a pretty tough racket. You any good? Undefeated as a professional. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Fighting at the Palisades tomorrow night. You want to come down? Oh, that's kind of far. Maybe next time. Okay. I'll tell you why. I'll leave you a ticket at the door in case you change your mind. You know what? What? We're dancing. What the hell was that? Well, you looked like you were dancing with your mother out there. But I what? Yeah, another one of life's little mysteries. Hit the asphalt, kid. You're breathing too much air in here. How is he, Doc? He's a bleeder. He'll live, huh? Oh, he'll be okay. That's the important thing. Yeah, yeah. You sure you're ready for this, Rock? Yeah, here comes Wild. Make like you know what you're doing. Nice shoes you got there, Mr. Wild. Would you listen to this fucking kid? He's about to get his head turned on mashed potatoes. He wants to fuck my floor shimes. I, is my, my, my father makes shoes. I'm just saying the nice shoes you got. Great idea. Something to fall back on. I understand. Is he always this cheerful? This is one of his good days.
He's too small, too light, and awkward as all hell. But he's got a right hand like a fallen safe. I'd sign him immediately. Boy, these circus freaks can make me some money. By your name, Marquis, uh, whatever the hell. Well, that, 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 it's gone. It's too many letters. Mm -hmm. so, so I have to change my name. Yeah, just say it the way you spell it. You know, Marciano. Mm -hmm. Huh? But I, my family all. Look, kid, you want to argue with me, you want to sign. Mm -hmm. What? Okay, now, uh, the, uh, what, what about Allie? Charlie Goldman's the best trainer you'll ever meet. Really? But, but me and Allie are partners. Oh, look, kid, I'm already paying your trainer. You want him, he comes out of your end. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Right. All right? Okay, just promise me you won't tell him I'm paying this way on. You can tell him Eleanor Roosevelt's paying for all I care. Mm -hmm. We got mm -hmm. a deal? Yeah. Uh, now, this uh, this power of attorney, what? Well, it just means you uh, give me the go-ahead to take care of everything for mm -hmm. you. You know, investments, mm -hmm. tax shelters, pensions, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, this uh, 50% of, it of, uh, yeah. seems everything? Yeah, that's the deal, 50%. 50% of everything. You know, fight purses, endorsements. Mm -hmm. You make two bucks on lemonade, you owe me one. <laughs> um, but that's half half of everything I'm earning. Doesn't that seem a little steep to you? Oh yeah. How much money you got in your pocket? Uh, I I I guess well uh, about a dollar dollar and a quarter. Pocket. Now you want to see what fifty percent looks like? Mm -hmm. So you want to get out of Brockton, kid? Sign. Mm -hmm. Put it in. Every time it rains, it rains. Panthers from heaven. Oh. Don't you know each cloud contains Panthers from heaven? You'll find your fortune falling all over town. Each year that you heard I'm bringing it upside down. And you okay? Trade them for a package of sunshine and ravioli. Holy baby. And when you hit the don't run on the tree. $75? Each? I'm sorry, sir. All I've got left are first class. You gotta be kidding me. Buy me something. Maybe you got something in the back or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The back of the plane. What do you got in the back? The back of the plane. I got two bathrooms. You wanna spend the day in there? Hey, Brock. Yeah, anything on uh, the plane. One in the front, one in the back. Hey, how's it going? I flew my plane down from Hartford just to see the fight. Ah, that's great to hear, pal. You're a pilot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're oh. telling me I can fly for free anytime I want? Day and night. If you can't reach me, let me give you a bunch of numbers of other guys being equal happy to do you the favor. Oh, that's real swell of you, pal. Real swell. What do you say, Ali? It's the only way to travel, huh? <laughs> How you feel? Hey, strong. Pretty strong. You knock out 12 men and you feel only pretty strong. <laughs> you should feel like Iron Man. You make all the Italians proud. As long as I make you proud, Pop. How's work? Yeah, work is work. Like it's been for the last 20 years. Maybe someday they... They pay me to stay home and play bocce. Huh? Until then, I got to go to the factory. <laughs> oh, no, you don't have to do I this. I want to, no. Papa. I want to. Everybody! Hey, Look who we got here! Oh, the next hey, heavyweight champion of the fucking world, huh? How's it hanging, Rock? How's it hanging? Hey, 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 hey,
Yeah. How you doing? God, I didn't know the Marciano fan club would be here tonight. Yeah, you know, last year, half of these guys wouldn't give them the time of day. What do you say? Rock, you want to put some of your winnings to work? Uh, I got this no, great idea for expanding now, the bar. Not the time. Who's that guy? Oh, that's Brock the native. You want to buy something? Hey, yeah. Ali, hey. Good to see you. How you doing? Come on, cut me five grand today. I get you back 7,500 in 10 weeks. I don't get that kind of money. It's horrific. Hey, Rocky, you got a spot for me on your team or what? Who's that little tramp? Oh, no, that, that's, that, that's Eddie's sister. She's nuts. He feels sorry for that's nothing. Yeah, sure. Charlie, speak it to Charlie. Charlie. That's my kid, yeah. yeah oh, hey, 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 look, 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 what's on? Whoa. Rock. 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 Yeah, Rock. Rock. It's on TV. Hey, hold it down, everybody. It's the champ. Turn that up. About a long time. It's time for me to retire. I've had a long run as champion, and I've met a lot of wonderful people in the way. There's a lot more pleasant things to do than beat up people. Thank you. Joe Lewis, the greatest boxer the world has ever known, at his retirement press conference this afternoon. That's the news for March 22nd, 1949. Hey, hey looking good. Looking very good, Tyler. Man, I'm knocking off the chain. Go on. Rocky! Rocky! Now, I'd like you to meet uh, Frankie Cobble. Nice to meet you, Mr. Cobble. Nice to meet you, too, Rob. I've heard a lot of good things about you. Yeah, well, I don't believe everything you hear. <laughs> no. I, so, Mr. Carbo, I, uh, I hear the guy can make things happen for me here in New York. Whoa, Rock. Settle down. Oh, no, that's all right. That's all right. I like a fighter who's aggressive. So you think you're ready to move up in the world? Well, I'm ready for the garden, Mr. Carbo. I'll make a book on that. Well, with Lewis retiring, there's a little room to maneuver. You know, there's another Italian fighter, Carmine Bingo, you know? Yeah. Heard of him. Big kid, right? 6'4? Yeah. A lot of people that I know would like to see two undefeated Italian boys go at it. Could be a good draw. I'm telling you, this kid, this kid's the real thing. He's ready. Are you Rocco? Are you the real thing? seen a kid sleep like that before a fight. The rock's about as nervous as a fire hydrant. Hey, it's time. All right. Hey, Rocco. Rocco. I'm up. Come on. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Go. Hey, listen to me, Sleeping Beauty. This is the garden. Madison Square, NYC. You know what that means? To lay it all on the line, huh? Make it happen. Joe Lewis is here tonight. To see me.
Nice cut. nice cut. Break it, boys. Break it. Break it up. You're gonna stick in that crouch. You gotta use the uppercut. Listen, this guy's a mess. You gotta make it happen now. He's bigger than you and quicker than you. You gotta kiss him with that right hand. Come on, not this uh, mama. Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on. I'm not gonna piss away my time on another Lou Ambers. Yeah, Lou Ambers, yeah. Lightning Lou. Never got over killing Scott Bonnie. But you know, there is one piece of good news here. What's that? Well, the way I figure it, every day Vingo's in a coma. Rocky's price goes up 10 grand. And if Vingo should happen to die, sky's the limit. <laughs> Rock. You want to play in this game? You got to accept that. And then it just as easy could happen to you. Well, maybe I'm not cut out for it then. I mean, even when I win, I don't win. Excuse me. You Rocky Marciano? Yeah, why? Well, what happened? Nothing. I was just uh, wondering if I'd get your autograph. 
There's a guy dying down the hall, and you want a souvenir like I'm babe. Fucking Ruth! Get the shit out of here. How's Vingo doing, Mr. Capo? Yeah, look, everything that can be done is being done for him. I've seen to it personally. What, what does that mean? What, what do you mean? The, the Death Watch is still on? Or it, is, he's still got a chance? What? Yeah, it's just too close to call right now is what it means, kiddo. Look, you're not doing him or you any good just sitting here watching the kettle. Go back to Brockton, get some rest. You should be with your family now. No, I gotta stay here till I know. Hey, listen to Mr. Cobble, Rock. I ain't doing nothing, just sitting here. Look, Rocco, a terrible thing happened. I know your heart is heavy, but it was an accident. You gotta remember that, an accident. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Carbo. And no matter what, just remember, you're not a murderer. You gotta let it go, it'll ruin you, you get me? Yeah. So go home, huh? Senora Vingo? Mi dispiace. Called me, but I heard. This Vingo boy, he's Italian. Mm -hmm. Con una familia? Yeah, wife. Santo cielo. <laughs> Every time you fight, I go to church and I pray you don't get hurt and you don't hurt nobody else. And now look what happens. Ma, don't get started, please. I did not raise a murderer. Enough, Ma! Could have gone better. to find another racket. Doing what? Making shoes? Let me talk to Mr. Carbo. He likes me. Maybe he'll set me up with something. Yeah, he likes you when you're boxing. Same as everyone else that hangs on to you. What, like you? Yeah, like me. Sorry. <sighs> Come on, Rocco. Ever since we met, all you've been telling me is how you want to get out of Brockton. You have been given a gift. Now you're going to throw it away. I'm not a boxer. I'm a guy with a good punch who got lucky. You're 25 and 0 against the best boxers in the world. You think Lewis would act this Lewis way? Lewis never had to oh, act. Oh, yeah, he punched Nady Brown straight into the hospital in 36. Brown never fights again. Four months later, Lewis KO's Braddock for the title. If Lewis had given up, he'd be sweeping floors right now. Marry me. No. Look, Fingo knew what he was risking when he climbed Barbara, into the did you hear what I said? I asked you if you'd marry me. Can I say yes with all that's going on in your head right now? Oh, you're killing me here. I swear to God, but you don't love me? Of course I love you. How can you ask me that? 
Even if I stop boxing? Even if you make shoes. What is that? Hey, Pop! <laughs> What are you doing here? Hey. If it's to bring me my lunch, I, I see you better fix your watch. <laughs> hey, listen, Pop, I'm a little tired from running around you. Mind if we sit down for a second? Oh, uh, the bingo boy, huh? how's he doing? Well, he's out of the hospital. Looks like he's gonna be okay. Well, ben, and you, what are you gonna do? You gonna go on fighting? Because I want you to know. If you don't want to, it's okay by me. Well, the one good thing that came out of this mess is my price is going through the roof. Huh. It looks like after my next fight, I'm gonna get my title shot. Which means I'll be able to pay off the house and uh, pull you out of this damn factory for good. Rocker, you don't have to do that. I, I mean, me, your mom, and the family, we okay, really. I want to, Pop. More than anything. What's wrong with you? I feel a little tight today, Charlie. Oh, come on, Rock. You're playing games in there. Where's that right hand, huh? How am I doing on points? Points? Your whole career, you were never ahead on points. Knock him out! Hey, what kind of crap is this? You're making me look like a schmuck out there. Say, I'm the guy getting his mug beaten about in here. Maybe one of you wise guys wants to step in and earn the money for a change. Hey, we're just trying to help you here, right? You're two rounds away from making penny loafers. Maybe you'll get mad now. Hit him, come on! Six. Just gotta hit him. That's all. Hit him. You all right? Go, go. He's up above. Come on. Let's go. Finish him off. What the hell are you doing? Come on, Rocco. Pull it together. Come on, Rocco. Now's the time. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, cut. Hey, cut. We got trouble. What are you doing, Rocky? Hey, 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 oh! Watch your hands. What? You couldn't do that to Lestaza? Look, I don't care what you think. All he did was run, okay? You forced the action, you deserve the decision. Bullshit. Hey, what is a win, Rocco? I stunk up the place, didn't I, Charlie? I seen you do better. What's the matter with you? Where's that punch they all paid to see? Al, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened out there. You're lucky the judges like you. What does that mean? You rigged the cards? No, Rocco, there was no fix. But you candy ass around the ring like that again, there may have to be. Now you straighten up and fly right. Otherwise, I'll drop you like a bad habit. Still the best prospect we got. <laughs> was. Was. Hey, uh, oh. Good to see you. Good to see you too, yeah. What do you mean, was? How many notches he dropped tonight? He's ready for the title shot right now. Your boy's got a little weight in front of him now. Rocco, you can't knock out everybody. But I had him, Pop. I had him. How you doing? Hey, good to see you. How are you? Thank you. Thank you very much. Rick for the house. Pop, Pop, you see what it is?
Hey, bro. He's gonna come on. Check it out. Shh, Ali, shut up. Just talk. Act like you've been there before. You know what I mean? Bob, look at the shoes on this guy. Charlie. Jeff, how you doing? I'm doing great. How you doing? Good, good. So I finally get to meet the great white Mr. Lewis, what a pleasure. I've been waiting my whole life to meet you. Really? You need to get out more. <laughs> Now, I've known Charlie for years, but who are the rest of these good-looking folks? Well, this here's my father, Perino. Nice to know you, sir. Pleasure. Thank you. This is my corner man, Ali Colombo. How you doing? Nice to meet you. And this is my, um, I guess you'd call her... Fiancé, Barbara. My... Oh, really? Mm. That's so? Yeah. <laughs> Seems I'm getting married, Mr. Lewis. <laughs> Take care of this man. Oh, I will. I will. From what I'm hearing, he's the next Dempsey. Oh, he's better than Dempsey. It's better than you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe, but sometimes my friend Ali here likes to make jokes when maybe you should shut his mouth. It's okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, folks. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Charlie. What are you doing? That's hey, the problem. Hey, Obama. hey. What's the matter with you? Get God, what are you doing Shh. to me? Did you see his face? I saw his face. Did you see? No, hey. Look at him. Hey, in his eyes, he knew the truth, Rock. He knew. God, oh, just sit down. You had too much to drink. Just sit down. I can't believe you do this again to he me. Knew, Don't Rock. do this to me. I tell you, though, I can't sing, I can't dance, but just to show that I'm gracious, I'll take on any guy in the house. Dick <laughs> great. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Killing them. I can't get enough of this guy. Call the boys in Vegas. Tell them we got the guy for their opening. Oh, you are a great champ. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Is my car ready? Actually, I made us some reservations at the pump room. I've got a business proposition for you. I tell you, it's real swell of you, but I gotta get home. I got my whole family waiting on me. You got my, uh... Yeah. Terrific. 4,000 in cash, like you requested. Uh, no offense. I, I don't trust you, but... Uh... No, it's all there. Uh, listen, I know you're in a rush, but uh, I got a few friends in Vegas. They're in a little bit of a bind. I'm sorry to hear that. They need somebody for their casino opening tonight. And there'd be a fee, of course. I tell you, pal, I'd love to, but I swore to my wife. Twenty-five that... grand. Cash. You know what, Ali? Why don't you take care of this one? Well, again? Ali, take care of this. Say, Ali. Look at that little guy at the end of the counter. The busboy? That ain't no busboy. That's Lightning Luambus. The ex lightweight champion? Yeah. Come on. When are you boys done? Yeah, say, Mac, your name like the Lou Ambers. What's the... Hey, you Rocky Marciano of Lou Ambers. Good to meet you. Good to Good meet you, sure. too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is my buddy Ali Colombo. Hey, how's it going? Good. I remember you from when we was kids. Say, <laughs> yeah. Swell, swell, real swell. How's it going, champ? Never better. Never better. Terrific. You mind me asking what you're doing here? What, here? Ah, that is so bad. Pays the bills, get to meet some good people. Sure, sure. Al Wiley used to manage you, right? Well, let's just say I paid for his house and free car. So he handled your money? Oh, he handled it all right. Didn't do such a good job, huh? Ah, oh, it wasn't his fault. I was going through dough like Hitler through Poland. You know how it is. You, you, you sign a deal when you're young, it ends up chasing you around the rest of your life, huh? You, you're telling me you got nothing left from being champ? I got memories, kid. A lot of great memories. And uh, in case of the clap, I can't get rid of it for the life of me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you. Take it easy. Ain't hey, right, Alan. Guy like that fights all those years, you got nothing to show for it? What do you got? Come on, pony up. That's what I got. I'll give it to him. Say, Lou. Ain't much, but it's all we got. Why don't you throw that in your kick? You snotty little wops. Oh, I was lightweight champion of the world, 1936. Where the fuck do you get off? Hey, Lou, I don't mean to insult you, but I figured... I fucking work for a living. I don't need your charity. Get the hell out of here. I'm just saying to you, I'm sorry if we offended I'm you. I'm Lou Ambers, lightweight champion of the world. I'm not a charity case, you bums. I'm Lou fucking Ambers. Yeah, I ain't surprised. Ambers was always a little proud. 
punchy but proud. I just can't believe an ex-champ winds up slinging hash. It's degrading. Yeah, I got news for you. Worse can happen. Say, this can't be. Oh, we saw him just the other night. He, he was buying drinks and everything. Well, it seems the bomber got himself into a corner he can't box out of. It says here he's into the IRS for a cool million. Not counting the half million that he's defaulted on loans, a couple of hundred grand in alimony to his ex. It's a long list. This still makes sense. He was champ for a dozen years. He was fighting for the big payday since the 30s. Yeah, not to mention all the businesses and the advertisements. Yeah, millions of dollars and no cents. Hey, Freddy, try this on. I got the other papers right in front of me, right? Uh, let me take a look. I want my money. What the hell are you going on about? I'll call you back. My half, the half you've been investing for me, I want it. What? What, do you need some walking around money? 50 bucks, 100, what? I'm not talking about chump change. I'm talking about my half. What's going on, Ali? The man wants his money, Al. Show me my file. File? <laughs> there ain't no file. It's all up here. Hey, I got to an answer to you, you great son of a bitch. It's the other way around, pal. I sign you and no one even touch you. I want my money! Easy, man. Easy. And they're all in one place, you know. I got to spread around in uh, investments. Like what? Oh, we got uh, 60000 in an apartment building in the Bronx. I trusted you with my money and you put it in the Bronx? Hey, come on. You knew we were investing in real estate. Don't act so innocent. I want out. Well, you can't get out. We use the apartments as collateral for the uh, parking lots in Syracuse. Syracuse? Which are tied into development properties in Florida, which are overseen by the partnership in Maine. Oh, I skipped the bird seat, Wow, What am I worth in cash? <sighs> well, things didn't pan out exactly as I'd hoped. But, uh, just give me a few months. I got a couple of... Cash me out. I'll handle my own finances from now on. You? What the hell do you know about money? I know what I don't got. All right, fine. You want it? You got it. But just remember this, punk. I still get half of everything you make for the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Just worry about my title shot, OK? Do you even call up Ezra Charles people yet? Title shot. You fought Lestarza like you're wearing a skirt. Hey, he won that fight, all right? Well, tell that to your friend Carbo. He's the one pulling the strings, right? But I'll tell you one thing, though. We're lucky if they even call us before November, December. I'm not fighting till the end of the year. That's right. Oh, no, Al. No, 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 no. Set me up with a, with an exhibition or something. Call those wrestling people. Wrestling? What the hell's the matter with you? Out of your mind? That's like stepping over dollars to pick up a dime. Crooked. Again. You know why the ball goes crooked? So you don't get those oyster shells to make it roll straight, right? Ha! <laughs> How you know that? Now nah, you told me I was little, Pop. <laughs> Listen, Pop, I gotta talk to you about something. Sure, but what's on your mind, Rob? Well, it turns out I don't have as much money saved as I thought, and, uh, I didn't clear what I expected from the La Starza fight. What's wrong? I don't think you ought to give notice at the factory just yet. And uh, as far as paying off the house, maybe we ought to hold off on that as well. It's just temporary, you understand, but um, you know, I'm making some investments and uh, trying some things out. With the money I got right now, I, I don't... Uh... It's okay, Rock. I understand. Do you, Pop? Sure. Sure. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah, well, well, you know, I never would ask you, right? But those Brooks Brothers jerks down at every bank downtown, right? They say I don't have the collateral for a loan that size. So I says to them, if I had the fucking collateral, I wouldn't need the fucking loan. Yeah, it's tough doing business with people you don't know. Which is why I'm gonna help you out. Oh, shit. You'll do it? Yeah, but let me make it clear. This isn't a loan. I'm investing in your business. 
Hey, all I want is five large rock. You get 7,500 back in 10 weeks. And 5% of the take. Hey, you won't be sorry, okay? It's gonna be real classy. Like, I'm gonna add another dining room and I'm gonna expand the kitchen. And I got my eye on this chef from Boston. Eddie, my father eats here for free. Sure, Rock. Where do I sign? No, we don't sign. The minute I put anything down on paper, my thieving manager comes around for his 50%. This is between you and me. It's between you and me. Give me a cup of coffee. Hello. Hi, Bob. Hey, where are you? I'm in Chicago. All right, Rocky. What are you still doing there? I thought you were coming home. Uh, yeah, I know what I said, but I, I gotta go to Vegas first. Uh, I'll be home in plenty of time for tomorrow. Come on, baby. You know how much this means to me. Barb, this is the last time ever. I promise. This is the big one. 25 grand cash. That's enough to put us where we want to be. I just want us to be together. Let's we will be. Film of Joe we... Lewis's statement to the press prior to his hospitalization in Denver. I never did nothing to nobody. I'm, Barb, I'm late. I gotta go. I'm sorry. I didn't understand why all these tricks were being played on me. I'm being locked up here for reasons other than you think. And I just want certain people to know that they're the real ones who need help. Another fighter pays the steep price. Hey, hey, Life is a square. That's right. That's right. So you hear about Lewis? Oh, yeah, it's a shame. He's a hell of a guy. Yeah. I can't believe a guy like that winds up in some loony bin. You know, after everything he did for the government during the war, and then they got to turn around and take every last penny he's got? I'll tell you, Rock, you were smart to get out of it when you did. Did we pass Denver yet? Congratulations, Rock! Hey, Rocky. Yeah. Only one piece. Right? I'm surprised he doesn't want 50% of the cake, too. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna make a new class for me, Al. Overweight. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to propose a toast yeah, yeah, yeah. to the newlyweds. May your love last from bell to bell. Drink, drink, drink. Ah, Rocky. Rocky, you uh you got yourself a beautiful bride there. And uh, Barbara. What can I say? You'd have been better off buying a dog. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously though, Barbara. I would like to um officially welcome you as the newest corner man in the Marciano camp as we slug our way to the heavyweight title of the world. Rocky, you gonna do it! Oh, and uh, while we're on the subject, I would like to tell everybody here that just a few moments ago, I received a phone call formalizing Rocky Marciano's next bout. All right, three months from tonight, in Madison Square Garden. The Brockton Blockbuster will face none other than the legendary Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. How could you do this to me, Al? Lewis retired with the belt. The second he unretired, they made him the number one contender. This is an opportunity you cannot pass up. No, listen. Walcott, Charles, look, anybody look, but Lewis. I mean, fighting Lewis is the only way you're gonna get the world to forget about that Lestarza. I beat Lestarza. You want a shot at the title? Yeah. Fine. Beat Lewis. Beat Lewis? I'm not even gonna fight Lewis. Listen, you ungrateful punk. This is not about you. What you want? I've got a lot invested in you, and it's time I got paid. You don't want to fight Lewis? Fine. You go down there and you tell your family you're finished with boxing and you're moving back home. Maybe you can take your old man's job at the shoe factory. 
Beautiful wedding, Mrs. Machigiano. Complimenti. What's going on? Hmm? Well, I don't know how much clearer I could be. I gotta start training now. Yeah, well, the fight's not for three months, and we just got married. Most people who just got married go on a goddamn honeymoon. No, well, most people don't have to fight Joe Lewis. Papa, I gotta go to the camp. Sit with me for a moment, huh? I gotta go. I gotta leave. It's for you. I gotta go. Oh, man, me and the other be staying here at the main house, and, uh, see the cottage over there? That's for you. I want you should have your rest, you know, your privacy, uh, whatever. And, um, got your, uh, gym equipment over here. Look, regulation ring, huh? The works. Yeah, and you got the Prince of Wales coming up to Spa. How much of this is coming out of my end? Nothing. Carbo made a deal with the owners. What? You agreed not to bump them off if they packed up and left? Still want to see all the bills. This is the only time Lewis got knocked out. See how he drops his left? Look how he leaves himself wide open for the overhand right. You try to outbox Lewis, he'll tear your head off. You gotta stay low and close. Never let him catch you in the center of the ring. You let him stay a foot and a half away, he'll murder you. And when that opening finally comes, you gotta throw that right hand with everything you got. But that's enough, Allie. No, oh, Allie, let her run. I wanna see this one too. This don't mean nothing. It was a thousand years ago. Oh, yeah. He's still the best boxer that ever lived. You give him half a chance, he'll carve you up like a Thanksgiving bite. Good night, Irene. Going. That's it. I'm done for the day, man. Two more. Come on, two more. Two more. Take a break, Rock. Cool down. You already got ten rounds. You in. Okay, you up. Good, 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 good. Now, come on. What's wrong with you? He said nothing. Twelve miles. Son of a bitch, Brockton Eddie. What about him? He's gonna be deeper than I ain't seen in diamond months. Pull it out of your head. Ain't nothing you can do about it now. Yeah, but you can. What are you talking about, right? I want you to go home to Brockton. I want you to give me my money. What are you talking about, Rocco? I'm helping you get ready for a fight here. Best you could do to help me get ready for the fight is to go home and get my money. Hey, what are you talking to me like that? Get me my money! Rock! Hey, Rocco! Charlie says you're looking good, kid. So, you gonna take him? Hey, Rocco. Take a break. I'm talking to you. That's 
else from the beach. Hi, I'm Rocky Marciano, and I'm here at my Greenwood Lake training camp preparing for my upcoming bout with the great Joe Lewis on October 23rd at Madison Square Garden. I sure hope you all come down and see the fight. I know you won't be disappointed if you do. Hey, Rocky, you really think you can beat Lewis? Well, I'll certainly try my hardest. Cut. Thanks, Rocky, that was great. Yeah, it's great to meet you, too. Hey, hey, do you think I can get your autograph? It's for my kid. Did you get the money? I tried, Rocco. I get to town, that jerk off, Eddie. Did you get the money? No, I don't know what to tell you. Tell me, tell him I want excuse the money. Me. I'm supposed excuse, to get, yeah. Excuse, Mr. 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 Marciano, uh, we're leaving now. Okay, great. It's nice to meet hey, you. good luck in I'm the I'm supposed, fight. thanks a lot. I'm supposed Personally, to get 5% of his action. Personally, I can't wait to see you go out and kill that big moolah in you. You want to excuse this for a second? You All right, you want to excuse this? What'd you say? This? No, wait, I want to hear this. Yeah, what just, should I do to this guy? I'm just saying, if you could do half the damage to that nigger that you did to Bingo. <laughs> Rocco, 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 Rocco. You want to see me Rocco, kill him? Rocco, 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 take it easy. Rocco, Rocco, my car, man. What are you doing? Look what you did. Get out of here. Go. Maybe we should have booked him to fight Lewis's Cadillac. See, now it's stuck. What is it? I heard you almost went the distance with the car. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I miss you so much. All they're talking about back home is you fighting Lewis. You know I like the guy I'm fighting against more than the guys I'm fighting for. You know, it's guys like Carbo give us all a bad name. They think Italians are all gangsters. They forget about men like my father, you know? Anyone can handle it. It's you, Rock. I gotta beat this guy. I got, I got so many people counting on me. You'll find a way to win. You always do. If I lose this Friday, I'm not gonna have anything left. You still have me. I love you, Barb. I love you so much. to see Joe Lewis. No visitors, but immediate family. I don't want to see me. I'm Rocky Marciano. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Madison Square Garden and tonight's eagerly anticipated bout between Rocky Marciano and Joe Lewis. The air is thick with history tonight, as boxing's premier pugilist of the past squares off against the man many are touting to be the foremost fighter of the future. Oh, my dear, just turn it down, huh? No, I don't want to listen to it. Fine, drive yourself crazy. You know where I will be. Hmm?
Rock. It's time. Alley. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Come on. Good luck to you both. Side on Lewis. Old Jack Shock, he tried that in 36, and he didn't last three rounds. Oh, come on, baby. Break it up.
expected. The man that ended Carmine Bingo's career. <laughs> All right! Oh. Oh. God damn. She came to fight. You just went three minutes with the greatest boxer who ever lived. How does it feel? Like I got hit by a truck. He's so fast, I can't see half of his punches coming, Charlie. Well, you know what the cure for that is, don't you? Hit him before he hits you. Here we go with round two. So far, it's anybody's fight. seems to be getting stronger. Letting his left drop. Hang a few upstairs and let's get this over with. He's getting his feet rock. One good shot's all it's gonna take. One good shot.
Did you? What happened? You bunch of hot kid. I need to ask you a question. What happened to me? If it was 10 years ago, I want to... You would have been a match. You're going to win that title, Marciano. I got no doubt. You're a winner. Let me tell you something. I won, Rock. I won till I had nothing left in my life but winning. I want my wife away. Money gone. My family. You got people who love you. Yeah. Don't ever let them go. They say you're crazy. Just got nothing left. I think I uh, spoke to you about that yesterday. Yes, Doctor. Good. Okay. Just bringing your time shits as usual. Okay. Excuse me. We'll do, sir. Mr. Marciano, I've always been a big fan of yours. I'm the administrator of this yeah, hospital. Say, pal, uh, don't you know you got Joe Lewis in there? I mean, can't we find a better room for him around here? I'm sorry, Mr. Marciano, but he's indigent. This is the best the state can provide. Well, uh... Jensen, that man in is a friend of mine. Make sure he's looked after. But, sir, I... Be home the next flight I could catch, Barbara. Three, four hours tops. And I'm home to stay. Uh, what happened to Vegas? Ah, uh, that don't matter. I'm coming home.
Come on, Pop. You made your last shoe. <laughs> what are you talking? People they come to see you. <laughs> what is all this? I got the oysters for you, Pop. We'll crush them up and make you a real bocce court. No son. <laughs> hey, Mr. Marciano. Ooh. Look, I gotta tell you, I have never flown in anything this bad. I don't think we should. Come on, kid. I've flown in worse than this. I gotta get home. Let's go.